Hello students, in this video we will learn on how the companies will issue shares at par with forfeiture and reissue. Orchid Flowers Company Limited has a registered capital of rupees 3 lakh divided into preference shares of rupees 30,000 each of rupees 10 each were offered to the public. The amount was payable as follows rupees 3 per share on application, rupees 4 per share on allotment, and the balance on calls. All the shares were subscribed and the money fully received except the first and final call money on 1000 shares. The director forfeited these and reissued at rupees 7 per share fully paid up, past the journal entries in the books of the company. We understand from the question students that. The company has a registered capital of rupees 3 lakh. Registered capital, if you go through the heading categories of share capital, registered capital means that amount of capital which the company is authorized to issue to the public. We call it as nominal capital or we can also call it as authorized capital. So this capital amount is now divided into preference shares. So the company is issuing preference shares of rupees 30,000 each of 10 rupees. So if you multiply 30,000 into 10, we will get the registered capital that is 3 lakh. Now this 30,000 shares is being offered to the public subscription in the form of application allotment and the balance in calls. Now we need to understand from the question students what is this balance amount. If I take 3 rupees of application, 4 rupees from allotment and the face value being 10 rupees, the balance amount is going to be 3 rupees. So 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 3 will be 10 rupees. That means now I can say the share is being issued at par. All the shares were subscribed and the money fully received except the first and final call money on 1000 shares. So we understand that when the shares are being issued and there is a public subscription on application we have received the money. In case of allotment we have received the money. In case of balance, that is on first and final call, for 1000 shares, we haven't received the money. That means we have received the money only for 29,000 shares, that is 30,000 shares minus the shares on which we haven't received the money. This means that on 29,000 shares itself, we have received the money on first and final call. Further, the directors forfeited these shares and reissued at rupees 7 per share fully paid up. Director forfeited, forfeited means cancellation of the rights of the shareholders for the non payment on the calls of 1000 shares. Further, these shares are being reissued at rupees 7 per share. So the face value given in the question is 10 rupees. The reissue value is 7 rupees. That means the share is being reissued at a discount of rupees 3. We need to pass the journal entries in the books of the company. Journal entries in the books of Orchid Flask Company Limited, the format of journal. The first journal entry is for the application money being received on 30,000 shares of rupees 3 on application, rupees 90,000 is debited and credited. The same application money is now transferred to share capital account. 30,000 shares of rupees 3 on application, 90,000 is debited and credited credited. Now students in this journal entry you can see very clearly these are preference shares so please make sure you write the word preference in front of shares. Let's go on with the third journal entry that is for the allotment money which is due on 
thirty thousand shares of rupees four on allotment. The money is still pending. Then the journal entry will be preference share allotment account debit to preference share capital account. One lakh twenty thousand is debited and credited. We need to pass the journal entry for the allotment money being received. Bank account debit to preference share allotment account. So on thirty thousand shares of rupees four each on allotment, one lakh twenty thousand is debited and credited. Next journal entry is for the first and final call money due on thirty thousand shares. The balance we have found out that it is three rupees. So thirty thousand shares of rupees three. Ninety thousand is debited and credited for the journal entry. Preference share first and final call account debit to preference share capital account. Now we have the money that is being received on first and final call. So as per the question, on one thousand shares, the call money is not received. So thirty thousand shares, out of which. One thousand we haven't received. That means we have twenty nine thousand shares of rupees three each. Rupees eighty seven thousand is being debited and credited. The entry is for the forfeiture, the cancellation of the rights of the shareholders on one thousand shares for the non-payment on calls. So the call money is three rupees. So keeping this in mind. Preference share account debit to forfeiture share account to preference share first and final call account. One thousand shares of rupees ten each, as mentioned in the question. The amount is rupees one lakh, which is called up. To forfeited share account, one thousand shares of rupees seven each, seventy thousand credited, which is being. Paid up to preference share first and final call account one thousand shares of rupees three as mentioned in the question which is thirty thousand credited now being unpaid so how do we do the calculation it is ten rupees minus three we will get seven over here ten is called up three is Unpaid amount and seven is the paid up amount. If you just check the debit and the credit total, it is rupees one lakh. Now, as per the question, we need to reissue these shares at rupees seven per share, fully paid up. The journal entry being bank account debit for future share account debit. To preference share capital account, the reissue value on one thousand shares rupees seven. The amount that is being debited is seventy thousand. So through bank account, we are going to receive the reissue of share money. For future share account debit will be one thousand into three, which is a discount amount. Debit value is thirty thousand. Preference share capital account will be one thousand into ten rupees as mentioned in the question. So credit amount is rupees one lakh. If you do the total of debit and credit, you will get rupees one lakh. So how did we get this calculation? As simple, ten rupees is what is given in the question. The nominal value, the reissue value is seven. Seven minus if you do from ten, you will get. Three rupees. So ten rupees is the nominal value. Seven rupees is the reissue value, and three rupees is the discounted value. Now we need to transfer the forfeited amount, the capital gain amount, to capital reserve account. Forfeited share account debit to capital reserve account. How do we do the calculation? Seventy thousand of for future share account. What is being credited, and for future share account, what is being debited, will be taken into consideration. 
so 70000 minus 30000 the capital gain of the business is now transferred to capital reserve which is rupees 40000 debited and credited so here you have the understanding of it so that's it with the solution students this goes as a 12 mark question so here you have the assignment question for this question the capital reserve value will be rupees 10,000 so you can cross check your answer the next assignment question for this particular question the capital reserve is rupees 5,000 again you can cross check with your answer 